During his weekly live stream on the YouTube Live on Patrol channel, Under Sheriff Mike Martin with the Ramsey County Sheriff's Office saw a guy in a moped make an illegal lane change and attempted to make a stop. What followed is a lesson for the Just Pit'em crowd. It's a bike. A pit, or even just a pursuit, is likely to be fatal. But that doesn't stop deputies and officers from using their training, experience, and instincts to identify and track the suspect. There's more than one way to skin a cat. Let's go for a ride. County. Well, that's not going to work. Here's your train, I'm over there. Some motorcyclists just cut through the uh, traffic control barrels, and we're going to pull them over. Quad 137. Here. Quad 138. Quad one four four. looking back like he's uh, gonna bail.
07. 2007. I had a motorcycle flee from me in Central. It's now uh, over in uh, on the east side and it went southbound on Payne from Phelan. Uh, white male, baseball cap on backwards, sunglasses, jeans, and the plate is 58248 MP Mary Paul. Kathy. We just went east on Phelan from Payne. Your incident has been updated. Copy, thanks. I'm not pursuing him anymore. I'm just trying to kind of follow him safely. It's uh, like a strip down Harley Davidson. And uh, I don't know what color. Driver's a white male, approximately 30 years old, no shirt on, long brown hair, baseball cap backwards, sunglasses, and the plate is in the call. Your incident has been updated. In 2007, I he kept looking around like he was looking for a place to bail without getting caught. That moped is coming back. There's a uh, white male named that lives near the intersection of Nini Haha and DeSoto in the group home, the tall, skinny white male. Your incident has been updated. He lives near Minnehaha and Dosoto. That address on Minnehaha is 468. 2007 copies, I'll go look in that area. It may, it, it likely was a moped that was made to look like a motorcycle and it wasn't going very fast. Your incident has been updated. He east of CHF Field. If you take Sweet Hollow, you can get there. Uh, we just saw that motorcycle head down the path. Copy at the homeless shelter east of CHF Field, went down the path. If you can get a squad to like fourth and commercial, there's only two ways out of there, guys. Two six two, he just saw us. He's going towards fourth and commercial. Happy is headed towards fourth and commercial. Twenty oh seven. Let's go to LTAC one then. So we're moving to a statewide channel so that we don't tie up because there's another incident going on on the uh He's either gonna come up the mountains towards the overlook there or he's gonna come back south on mountains towards seven feet. He might be trying to get back to 468 Mini Ha. Uh, he doesn't want to have a squad to wait there. Possibly going back to 468 Mini Ha. Uh, Your incident has been updated. Bumper request for an AP that occurred an hour and a half ago. Can I wrote E echo? Follow over. The only other way out of there is if he tucks under that footbridge Your and goes towards the CHF under the under the footbridge on commercial. Okay. <laughs> 
So we're waiting here. Uh, if you were listening, the. Uh, He's going north on pain from 7. Northbound pain from 7. He's coming this way Take towards his house. Thanks for the wait. Take call 366 on pain. Your incident has been updated. 383, not chasing. Uh, we should be at a, coming up to Edgerton. Not chasing, just following, coming up to Edgerton. 366. He just went westbound to Tedesco. It's still behind him, though. Westbound towards Tedesco, not chasing. Westbound has been updated. He blew through the stop sign. He'll be coming down to Lafayette University here in a second. Coming down to Lafayette University. When, uh, to be north on us, you go here. Copy the I'm your incident has been updated. Yeah, he's definitely going to uh, 460. It's right on the corner. No, listen. He's going to bail here in a second. No, he's going to bail. Your incident has been updated. 393, assignment to call, please. Copy. Your incident has been updated. Northbound Rivoli. Northbound Rivoli. Your incident has been updated. He's back. He's found many ha-ha. Passing DeSoto. Back, he's found ha-ha. Passing DeSoto. Your incident has been updated. Back, South Lundberg. Back, South Lundberg. South Lundberg. Your Lundberg. incident has been updated. 336, he did try to get off. Near that address. He's just making circles around it. Mel did attempt to get off near the ha many ha-ha address. He's just circling the address. Excellent teamwork. Um, best part is it sounds like everybody's safe. And uh, we uh, three, three, four, everybody else. 366, can you have medics come? He's got a cast on his arm, so we're not going to be able to handcuff him. Copy medics with pain and well, correct? New message. Yep, we're going to go for it for them. has been updated. So, he did have a cast on his arm. I forgot that when I aired the description, but now that they say it, um, so we're, uh,
looks like we got a gun unit. We got cat people out here, so stand by. Your incident has been updated. 2754. Oh, boy. All right. Well, we got one in custody after that flee. And uh, the Your incident has motorcycle been actually broke down. It didn't run out of gas. Um, the suspect apparently is well known to the east side cops for stealing uh, mopeds and um, scratching the vins off and whatever. We couldn't find a vin on that moped, but uh, they were still looking. And um, I get to go down now and do a report on this. So, of course, um, great thanks to the uh, St. Paul officers who helped kind of keep them in sight, even though they, they can't pursue. Um, they can help kind of keep an eye on where he's going and um, call it out, and which they did. So, um, I really appreciate that. Uh, this guy has apparently got quite a criminal history. I, I'm personally not familiar with him, but um, you know, as soon as the um, St. Paul officers got on and said that um, they thought they knew who it was and that he would go back to that address, and sure enough, we went and sat there, and he came by and took off again but um it was i don't think he expected that there would be that many squads looking for him and he th probably thought he could go home and bail and be done but uh unfortunately the license plate on the moped was one he took off of one of his other mopeds that actually registers to him so uh that allowed us to to get a good idea who it was after the uh, and then one of the St. Paul officers knew uh, where he was probably going. So um, great work by everybody involved, and uh, good that um, we kind of slowed it down a little bit. I'm not going to chase a high speed pursuit of a motorcycle with a guy with no shirt on. To clarify, St. Paul police have a restrictive pursuit policy, while the sheriff's office we see here is permitted within policy. We concur with Under Sheriff Martin that, given the circumstances, this was handled properly and professionally. A daytime pursuit in a dense urban environment like this does carry certain inherent risks, but they use their tools and experience to bring this to a close. That's all for this one. Hit that like button for us and consider subscribing. We'll see you next time. St. Paul was able to follow their procedures and, and not chase, just uh, look for it. So um, all's well that ends well with the bad guy going to jail and the good guys and going back to work and everybody safe. And the only downside is now I have to write a report.